You were lucky to win the lead. I'm going to enjoy the... Confidence. Zack is not for it. Confident.
I'm going to... Bazak is not forever. Confident. If you ever wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. We can make this job pretty lonely. That's true, but people don't appreciate what we've done for them. We could have slapped a curfew on this whole planet, but we didn't. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Exactly, it's all about attitude. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I try to make the best of it. It's pretty easy to get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up.
But that's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. It's good to talk about this stuff. It gets pretty lonely up at the military base. I have to get going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. I'd really like to see you again. Why don't you drop by the party? I'll show you where it is on your map. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ship's end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a... It's a good thing a few of the Sith have been here to... I'm surprised the Sith haven't done anything to try to bring in death. No hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I guess... I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming. <laughs> nice outfit. You steal those clothes from a bum in the lower city? Oh well, guess you don't have to have good taste in clothes to come and enjoy the music. Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the Sith quarantine, so they've been playing here every night. Talk about a good nice outfit. That's an outcast. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Do I know you? This cantina isn't the fanciest I've ever been. If you're here to complain about the court, you know, it's bad enough the Sith conquered this world. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Careful what you say. I get the feeling the spoiled brat can cause us rat trouble when she's wearing Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. How dare you speak to me like that? Daddy's going to hear about this. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll! In this corner, I give you Gerlon Twofinger! And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Jedi Duncan! To nobody's great surprise, Jedi is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? That quarantine must be tough.
Tumpakun pakur piye ya muka papa Tumabuk syawum lebong Fibroblades and blasters And nobody ever dies How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Cio kakon bolera Kien konjo pesok Noga bolera ji this is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. The Sith might have come across. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Get Eye Duncan. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> and in Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies and over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as death and in the... Ladies and gentlemen, draw you. He's a legend in the sport, a 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kid, but there's always some young... Yes, what's on your mind? You got. Welcome to the equipment. <laughs>
ladies and... He's a legend in the sport. A 20-year veteran who still knows how to show the young kids... Welcome to the because. to your seats and stay back from the edges of the ring. He's wild, he's unpredictable, he's borderline psychotic, and he's the best damn duelist in the game today. Give it up for Twitch! But Twitch's opponent plans to take the champion down. Night after night, battle after battle, we've watched this young phenom rise to the ranks. In this corner, the challenge... Thank <laughs> you. 
You know, Bendix never lost the big Offworlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terras. You... The terrible affliction has plagued Terras for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terras's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless. There is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a... Well, I couldn't afford to give you more than a few med packs and a handful of credits. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military... I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity... But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. Of course, just... Welcome back. It will just take me a moment while I... No problem. Got it. What are you doing? Don't go in there! That door is for employees only! Uh, nothing. This... this isn't your concern. Just... just forget you saw anything, okay? 
What? No, you don't tell the Sith, please. I, I can explain all this. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. No, it's not. The Sith would torture men like these or worse, and you're not threatening this man while I'm present. Fine. Take these credits to seal your tongue, then leave this place. I don't want to have anything to do with a monster like you. Well, I understand some extra credits might help us in our mission, but I don't approve of your methods. Zelka's a good man. You shouldn't have done that. You've got your credits. Now please show yourself out. You're no longer welcome here. Psst, you there. Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Ghoul Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Davik isn't the kind of guy you could just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rat Ghoul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off. Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Come on, we don't want to keep Davik waiting. That's only going to make things worse. to kill me I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time please I don't want to die here I've got 50 credits on me you mean you're not here to kill me but uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters if you're not here to kill I knew you were here to kill me 
out on the floor. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's live a little. Come on, drink up. I remember when a person didn't have to worry about me. To, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to the lower says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said, these streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get... Hey, this Slummy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And they stink. You talk big, Schlummy. Maybe time to teach you a lesson, Schlummy. <laughs> 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 Programmed to provide. Then, if you will excuse me. 
This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrol. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're. Move along. We're gonna need some kind of disguise if we. Another patrol heading down to the lower city, eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. There's... Dumpa kumpa yia moka bata. Kipona. Thank <laughs> you. 
No problem. Didn't work. Yes? No problem. Got it. Kipuna! Kavatumpa! Kavatum pa kun pa yeya mok.
Și gratulo da pograș Ca ce cun ida Ta cum ce stah miki Runda di hotonga Ce dă bădoană ni Cuiami Stranger, my name. If you're ever. Back again. Excellent. looking from back again excellent
well in our last match. If you're ever looking for a Go away. She's can eat you. Kimba muli rat on a G. Kimba no kunixa top. Kipona. Kava tumpa ku. One. Oscar. She's can. Kipona. Kava tumpa ku. Pai two. Kiyokaku. Kimba mut unip. Pudu. Run a new prata. Three. No! No! Go away. Smart. I saw Davik's new starship at the spaceport. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I don't normally go for these alien girls, but I've had some bad experiences. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done. I can't let her get away with what she did. That wench tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Really? Huh. I guess that's it then. A real shame it had to come to this. She was a good-looking gal despite her temper. Ah well. Plenty more ladies out there for me. If you want to collect the bounty, go talk to Zax. I gave him the credits for safekeeping. As far as I'm concerned, my part in this is over. Fine by me. That means... I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like Bantha Poodoo. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? <laughs> Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything.
La bola na rynki jest ma... Bomba pora. Taki to najtaki bedła na niebo. Ha! Taki to najta... Bomba to... Ci oka to bolera. Ci bedła na... Ha! Taki to najta... Bomba to... Ci oka to bolera. Ci bedła... Chakachi to naifao Labuda na rinki smakto Tonga buksha ume nom Kava volpa Labuda na rinki smakto Tonga buksha ume nom Kava volpa Tunira manu prata tunkyo Sena koji kopa Taki to najfao dunga To labuda na rinki smakto na Tonga to Rundi hao dunga tonki mba nangunke Labuda na rinki smakto Ki yo kakol bolera Ki Ki bedwa nani Ako ti ko Paris mama res Don jo ne a hako no I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that As long as we Don jo ne a mano prata tum Okay, I don't know about Davik special contracts Just Ta ti jo ne a Go kane si ti Ti be do a mani Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Those Valkers are dumber than a Coruscant granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. Yes! <laughs> 
You ask for this! Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. No problem. Didn't work. Right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you're...
Stick with the bounties Davik puts out. They're used. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later tonight. Is this really necessary? We're pretty snappy with the orders, are we? Okay, you got it, sir. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your... Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And for what? And the hope that we didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position? Not at all. I just think it's a bit odd that someone who got added to the crew roster at the last... You were the only one. Not to mention that Basilis' party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, I'm probably wrong. And this is probably nothing, I know. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep... All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? We'll talk about it, but later, right? 